What's up, Aries? It's Guru Jojo here to do your focal point reading. This is what you should be focusing on for the last four months of the year before jumping into year 2020. Because year 2020 is going to bring a lot of clarity to your life, all of our lives. But this is your reading here, so your life in particular, um, as it relates to our reality versus what we hope to bring into reality, our hopes, wishes, imagination, our dreams. Um, so I'm doing a reading on what you should be focused on, all right? What is your intentions and how to basically set forth those intentions? Um, in addition to that, I'm taking personal consultations, astrological natal chart interpretations, as well as tarot readings via video chat, as well as in person. My website is in the description linked below. Um, that's pretty much all I want to say for this in terms of announcements. So I want to get along with your reading. I already did your reading and it's like for some reason it got lost in the ethers. I don't know what happened to it. So I have to do it over. I actually have to do two readings over, but whatever. It's not the point. We're going to get it done. We're going to get through it, Aries. So what should you be focused on? What is your focal point at this time? How are you going to build structure towards those dreams imagination illusions let's make them not an illusion let's make them real let's make our hopes real how are we going to do that all right what's up you got yourself the two of pentacles or two of diamonds all right, two of diamonds, two of pentacles. This has to do with the earth realm. So you're trying to balance out your finances in some way or balance out two jobs that you may be doing. Three of swords. Getting over past disruptions, past heartbreak, past relationship issues. So you're trying to rebalance out relationship difficulties, betrayal. Ace of clubs, 10 of clubs. These have to do with fire energy. So you're setting down any sort of burdens and responsibilities that you have and looking at what is most important, okay? Most important and you're taking on opportunities one at a time is what I'm seeing rather than all at once. In order for you to rebalance your life, you got to take on these opportunities one at a time. You see all these are holding up. It's hard to see clarity. So you're going to be taking on those opportunities one at a time. Breaking out of any sort of betrayals or relationships that were not honest. Okay. Deceptive relationships in your life. Breaking away from those and taking on opportunities one at a time. Jack of clubs. Maybe you want to travel or something like that. Maybe you have plans to travel or plans to move on from a situation. So you're moving past a difficult situation with this six of spades connected to the six of air. So that has to do with pretty much like getting over a difficult time, having to move. You could be help. You could have in the past, you could have helped somebody move away from their betrayals. Okay. So maybe you help somebody move on from a past disruptive relationship. And now, you know, you felt overburdened from that. Like you were these people or that person or whatever was overburdening you in that type of situation. Um, it was a disturbance to your financial security. It was a disturbance to your finances. It was a disturbance to your own responsibilities. And now you finally can break yourself from that situation, move away from it. Okay. Or there's a need for you to move away from these deceptive and this, these disruptive people in your life that have problems with their relationships or that are betraying you or deceiving you in some way. Okay. You couldn't see that before because you were taking on too much. You were taking on too many responsibilities and you couldn't see the reality of that situation. But now, since you're going to be moving on, you're going to be clearing yourself away from that type of situation and getting over those hardships and getting over the deception and whatnot that's been going on. 
and you're going to be able to drop the, drop a lot of burdens and responsibilities and take on things more one at a time. That's what sh that's what the goal should be on how to structure this in order for you to rebalance your finances. All right. That's the first storyline. Second storyline I'm doing for each of the signs. Two storylines just in case one story doesn't resonate with them. The other one may vary. It really may resonate with you in case the first one pretty much doesn't. Um because sometimes these storylines are very connected to like romance or something like that. Not everybody's, um, you know, involved in a romantic situation or if it's about straight up work and not everyone's worried about work. So that's why I do two storylines. First card received is the six of diamonds. So it looks like you're focused on work every day. Like things, how could you receive um, a paycheck? How could you receive money? You know that's steady so steady paycheck steady growth of money service work opportunities king of hearts is the next card so that has to do with the need to be more intuitive to other po people's emotions and feelings so if you wish to be successful in work opportunities you have to be a little bit more empathetic so we also received the seven of hearts that seven of hearts pretty much has to do with your dreams hopes imagination so you see certain opportunities but they're not clear yet okay so there's a need for you to be more clear about how other people are feeling despite the front that they may perceive on the surface so then i'm also seeing this eight of clubs so the eight of clubs has to do with pretty much getting over obstacles and um being more courageous and also to um defending your turf okay this is the king of clubs so this king of clubs pretty much has to do with you needing to possibly gain the courage and confidence to take on new opportunities um also too there could be someone that you're all right queen of clubs someone that you're embodying so it looks like okay you may want to work with um a fire sign person or you're trying to In the past, you've gained more confidence in your sex appeal. You gain more confidence in your direction. You gain more confidence in your approach to certain things um, regarding a female or something like that. And you're taking on these obstacles and you're overcoming obstacles and opportunities as it relates to your own passions, your own sex appeal, and your own confidence. But in order for you to be successful in that type of work, and to gain money and whatnot and steady growth there's a need to be more empathetic with others so there's a need for you to be more empathetic towards other people's emotions and feelings and not only judge things based upon what you can see and more based upon the imp the empathetic skill okay so that's pretty much what i'm seeing for the zodiac sign of aries hopefully this was helpful blessings light and love to you